November 8th, Papa Echo Papa. Papa Echo Papa, Roger, Roger, what's the name there? Papa Roger, Roger, what's the name there? The uh, name here is Mark, Mike Alpha, Romeo Kilo. Uh, I checked in with you a few weeks ago, but since then I've changed microphones, but I just uh, wanted to, uh, to see if we're doing okay here. Roger, Mark, uh, what's your location, sir? Mark, uh, what's your location, sir? Located in uh, southwest Florida, the actual town is Cape Coral, Cape Coral, Florida. Roger, Mark, and what radio are you using? Roger, Mark, and what radio are you using? This is a Kenwood TF480HX Hotel X-ray. Uh, Roger, Mark. Well, let's see here. Why don't you give me about uh, 10 seconds on uh, your antenna and uh, let me listen to you. And uh, let me listen to you. Okay, uh, Jim. Uh, yeah, the uh, description of the antenna is uh, about the same as I told you uh, the last time. Uh, I, I don't expect you to remember it because uh, that was a few weeks ago. But uh, anyway, it's a 40-meter loop, 40-meter uh, horizontal loop in a delta configuration. And it is uh, slanted. It's not uh, perfectly horizontal to the ground. So one end is up, uh, one corner, I should say, is up about 30 feet. And uh, the other uh, corners are lower than that, uh, 15 feet or so. And uh, that's what we've got here on this end, uh, Jim. Roger, Roger. I'm copying you mainly on the uh, Georgia SDR. You're about uh, oh, 7 dB over the Georgia SDR noise level. Your audio, it looks really good. I mean, as far as uh, dynamic range, you're running about 3 dB dynamic range, which is exactly where uh, we want you to do, be. And uh, But on the EQ, you might crank in a couple of clicks more top-end EQ. Uh, two clicks additional uh, treble EQ from where you are. Roger. Roger, uh, we'll uh, do that right now here. Uh, there is one, um, uh, let's see, that's, well, that's about three, uh, about three right there. Uh, does that uh, seem to be okay? Yes, sir. That adds a nice little uh, syllabic top to you for definition and articulation. So uh, when you get in those real muddy conditions, uh, folks can understand what you're saying. Roger. Understand what you're saying. Roger. Oh, Roger, Roger. Uh, so how are we doing uh, on the uh, on the EQ part? That's what I'm saying. You, you, uh, since you added that top, uh, your uh, articulation is uh, is is very nice now. Uh, you know, it's it, the thing is, uh, you want to be as bright as you can, but not distorted. So it's the brighter you are. Usually, rule of thumb is, uh, the brighter you are, the more easily uh, understood w what you're saying, Roger. Oh yes, uh, I totally understand what you're saying. All right, so you think uh, maybe just leave it right where it is now is okay then. Roger. Now, uh, you know, I would suggest maybe we review very quickly what the uh, setup is. Um, that the compressor should be on and uh, just at a three. Compressor on and just at a three. Roger. And just at a three. Roger. Uh, Roger. And that is uh, what we've got here uh, right now. Uh, the mic gain actually is uh, uh, not quite a three, almost a three. The uh, processor is about uh, three, just a tad over three. And uh, that's where it's, uh, yeah, that's where it's located right now. Roger, Roger. And the only other thing to double check is your ALC, because when you switch mics, you should always go back to your ALC and double check that you're running mid-scale to two-thirds, because, uh, you know, my, every mic is different, it, it not necessarily the same level. So when you switch mics, be sure and go back to your ALC and double check that you're running a mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger. Mid-scale to two-thirds. Roger. Roger, uh, yeah, this one uh, right now, the ALC is about uh, two-thirds to three-fourths, about two-thirds to three-fourths scale. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's got nice little life to it. Um, what happens is if you get more than 3 dB, when, when I'm really saying less than, because, uh, you know, if you get down to like a 2, two dB dynamic range, the words start to blur, and the more you pass 
3 dB uh, dynamic range, the more blurry uh, they become. So eventually, you defeat the purpose of <laughs> folks being able to understand what you're saying. So uh, 3 dB is a nice uh, fat signal, and but you still have some some dynamic uh, uh, involved for to be able to perceive what the words are. Roger. To perceive what the words are. Roger. Roger. Now, should I go back down to make sure I don't exceed uh, two-thirds? Uh, because every now and then it does go up to about three-fourths. No, that's your ballpark there. Your ballpark. I'm looking, and it's about 3 dB. So that's that's where we want to be, Roger. That's, that's where we want to be, Roger. Roger, Roger. Okay, well, it sounds like then, from what you're telling me, that uh, I'm in pretty good shape at the moment. Yes, sir. Now, the thing is, you, you need to, to keep your uh, proximity to microphone uh, consistent. You want to address that microphone at the same distance all the time because obviously if you move into it your level is going to go up. If you fall, pull back uh, your level is going to um, get less. Uh, you know the uh, compressor is trying to keep up with all that and it does a fairly good job but it's, uh, it's a good idea to always address the microphone at the same distance as, uh, as consistent as you can. which is not a good thing. Uh, when I start talking, I usually am a little softer, and then uh, as the conversation goes on, I guess I get more comfortable with it and I get louder. Roger, so the solution to that is uh, to start moving away from Mike a little bit. Now, you don't want to move too far back because if you get too far back, you suddenly are getting s stuff bouncing off the walls. You're getting a room reverberation in there, and you don't want to be that. So, you know, normally you want to address the microphone at uh, maybe five to six inches away, uh, somewhere in, in that area where your voice is uh, by far and away uh, louder than any room reverberation, Roger. Room reverberation, Roger. Oh, Roger. I totally understand, and I've experienced that. Uh, right now, this is a uh, this is a headset with a boom microphone, and I have the uh, microphone straight out the way you recommended uh, several uh, weeks ago, and uh, that's how we're running it. So the distance between my mic and my mouth. It's pretty much a constant. I think, if anything, it's, it's my voice that, uh, that fluctuates in, uh, in, in loudness. Roger. Okay, so uh, then uh, what I would do is uh, I would run my radio and be looking at my, um, uh, my ALC meter. I would be, uh, you know, monitoring my ALC meter, and it will tell me if I get uh, uh, rambunctious in audio. Roger. Rambunctious in audio. Roger. This is good. It's good to uh, to know that this uh, microphone is uh, working okay and sounding okay. Uh, it is definitely a much hotter uh, mic than the uh, than the stock mic and the handheld mic that came with the radio. And uh, the other mic that I sometimes use is an MC60, a Kenwood MC60 mic. And uh, this uh, this mic and this headset is hotter than uh, either one of those two mics. So uh, I have to watch it, and I have to make an adjustment every time I use it. But uh, this has been helpful today to know exactly where to set it. Roger, Roger. And hopefully it's just a matter of uh, mic gain control. Uh, and looking at the ALC uh, when you switch uh, mics and uh, not have to get into the EQ part of it. Roger? EQ part of it, Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, that's, uh, that's what we're going to plan to do here. All right, well, we'll let you go, and uh, thanks again for all the help. And I know there's probably other fellows out there uh, needing some help also. So uh, we'll say 73 to you, and I'll be listening for that uh, YouTube audio here in a few days. And uh, we'll take a listen and see uh, see what that sounds like. Very good, Jim. Thanks again for all the help, and uh, have a good afternoon. KC9 BKB, this is N8PEP. Roger, Roger, Mark 73 down that way, sir. Have a great afternoon and a beautiful weekend. This is the uh, Kilo Charlie 9 QSO Vlog uh, Net. <laughs> For Friday afternoon, we're recording now live to a five. So if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Oh, you want to check out, give me a shout.